Hello everyone, welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to study a new class of compounds called as biphenyls. So we will study the stereochemistry of biphenyls. Also we will learn how to assign RS nomenclature or absolute configuration in biphenyls. So let us first understand what are biphenyls. As the name suggests, in this organic molecules, there are two phenyl rings which are attached to each other by a carbon-carbon single bond. We must know that whenever any two groups are attached by a carbon-carbon single bond, both the groups have the tendency to undergo free rotation in space. So let us understand how a biphenyl molecule looks in 3D. So this is how we write down a biphenyl molecule in, on the paper. And this is how a 3D molecule would look like. This is the representation on a paper and this is how it would look in a 3D model. Now let us understand what is this concept called as atrop isomerism. So A means not and trop means turn. So these are the isomers in which the rotation across a single single bond is restricted. So let us understand what is the definition of atrop isomers. Atrop isomers are a result of hindered, hindered means restricted rotation about single bonds where the steric strain barrier to rotation is high enough to allow for the isolation of the conformers. So what does this mean? Here in this middle compound you can see that the two biphenyl rings uh, we have attached four different big different groups two bromine atoms and one iodine atom. So because of the steric strain and the torsional strain and many other factors it is not possible for this two phenyl rings to remain in one plane. So what happens is that one of the phenyl rings undergoes a rotation and comes in one plane whereas the other phenyl rings remain in a plane perpendicular to the other one. So we can see either of the uh, phenyl ring one will remain in one plane and the other will become perpendicular to the first one. So we can call this third structure and the first structure as atrop isomers. Why it is called as steric strain to the rotation is because when we attach four different large groups then the restriction is created that the molecule cannot rotate across carbon-carbon single bond. So hence they are called as conformers. What are conformers? More isomers which can rotate across carbon-carbon single bond. So here you can see this example of biphenyls where I have attached four different groups that is two nitro groups and two bromine atoms and this is how it would look in a 3D model. So this is a benzene ring, this is this nitro group, the nitrogen in blue and the two oxygen groups, the bromine atom in brown and similarly this bromine and this. Here you can see that this uh, phenyl ring is in one plane and this phenyl ring is in another plane which is perpendicular to this one. So if we rotate this molecule a little bit more here it is more clearer in this third diagram it is more clearer you can see that this phenyl ring is in one plane and this phenyl ring is in another plane. So now if you look this molecule from this girl's perspective it would look something like this Fisher projection formula. Now this biphenyls are very much similar to cumulines in a way that here also there is no chiral center but the overall molecule can be chiral. So let us now understand some of the very basic conditions for chirality in biphenyls. So as we had seen there are two phenyl rings so there will be four ortho positions. So the very first important condition for chirality in biphenyls is that at least three of the ortho positions of the two biphenyl rings must be substituted. Either three or all of the four ortho groups should be substituted. Second rule is that the groups that are substituted should be very large in size that is bromine, iodine, nitro group or a carboxylic group. Then the third condition is that the two ortho position on one phenyl ring that is on the same phenyl ring two ortho positions should not have same groups. If they are same then the plane of symmetry will pass through the molecule and the overall molecule will become a chiral. So let us understand the third point with this example. If you look this molecule from this girl's perspective again, you can imagine that this 
iodine as your right hand this iodine as your left hand this bromine atom in front of your head and chlorine in front of your legs so it would look something like this very similar to fisher projection formula but again this is not fisher projection formula so what it will look in a 3d model that is in the ball and the stick model it would look something like this so in this molecule you can see i can play pass a plane through this molecule from the middle and accordingly whenever a plane of symmetry is passing through any molecule it would become a chiral so that's why on one benzene ring or phenyl ring two ortho positions should not have same groups so let us now understand with one more example where all the four uh, groups are different let's see from this girl's perspective imagine this as the right hand again bromine will come on the right iodine as the left hand so iodine will come here and then bromine will come here and iodine over here so the rules for assigning rs nomenclature remains the same as we had done in cumuline molecule that the groups which are closer to the observer will get the first and the second priority that is this iodine gets the first priority bromine gets the second priority according to the atomic number and accordingly the other two groups will get the priority third and fourth as iodine has got the higher atomic number so from 1 to 2 to 3 it is clockwise so the absolute configuration is r so these are another type of similar compounds like biphenyls but these are not biphenyls here you can see there are two naphthalene rings which are attached by a single bond and at the ortho positions you can see two hydroxyl groups attached to it and this is how a um, binol molecule that is 1 1 by 2 naphthol that is on the two naphthol rings on the 1 and 1 prime position there are hydroxyl groups so this is how it would look very similar to biphenyl that is one uh, naphthalene ring would be in one plane and the other would be in another plane another similar okay so now let us understand how do we assign rs nomenclature in binol so let us see this molecule from this side the groups coming towards you are oh and this carbon so accordingly we write here and then this oh and this carbon will be on the horizontal position so accordingly the groups 1 and 2 will get the higher priority and then the group 3 and 4 as oxygen is higher in atomic number so from 1 to 2 to 3 it is anti clockwise or counter clockwise and the absolute configuration is s similarly in this molecule again you do the same exercise from 1 to 2 to 3 it is clockwise and the absolute configuration is r so another similar type of compound like binol are this binap what is this binap the same two naphthalene rings connected by a carbon carbon single bond only the difference here is that instead of two hydroxyl groups that is oh groups we have diphenyl phosphine group okay pph2 groups so this is r configuration of binap and this is as configuration of binap So here we come to the end of today's video in the coming video we will learn how some previous year questions regarding biphenyls cumulines and uh, other topics that we had covered so thank you so much